Hello, welcome back to Mark's House and Garden UK, where it's quarter to midnight on the 10th of June, 2024. And I've come out on my usual evening visit to the wildlife pond. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the pond in my torchlight, but here it is in front of me. And if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I often come down here to look at the newts that we have. In this wildlife pond, I have great crested newts and smooth newts, and we've also had the excitement of watching the newts this year breed and lay eggs. And we know that those eggs have hatched and hatched into tiny tadpoles. Well, a newt tadpole is actually known as an eft, and those efts live in the water for about three months. They have gills, and eventually those gills turn into lungs and the efts grow legs and then become newts and at that point those newts at some stage will leave the water and live in the margins of the pond in the undergrowth now i'm going to show you some of those efts but in the corner of my eye i've just seen an adult great crested newt so we'll have a look at that first it's down there can you see there it is now i'm just going to press a button on my camera so that i can see what you can see the screen turns itself off. Now I can see what you can see down here. There is an adult great crested newt right there in front of our eyes and quite nicely silhouetted against a, a white stone so we can see that very, very well. It's sat there. That is about five, six inches long. Um, I won't disturb it too long, but I just want to point out that they're still in the water um, they generally come into the water to breed in the springtime. This is a kind of a, a hangover, a leftover newt. Probably shouldn't be here at this stage, but there it is in the shallows. That's the second adult great crested newt I've seen this evening. The main purpose of this video is to show you some of the efts. In other words, the, the baby newts, which have started to grow legs. They're getting slightly bigger. Now, whereas this one that you're looking at now in front of us is about four or five, maybe six inches long in total, the Fs are only about two or three inches long. Um, I've just noticed something else going on down here where that, you see the feather there, there's something going on down near that feather that's just moved. Let's just follow this newt whilst we've got it in sight and see what it does kind of wriggling and going down into the pond weed. It's, I think it's hiding from the light of the camera, but there's an adult great crested newt in the water. That's an adult great crested newt. They also have frogs and toads and smooth newts in here. Let's go and capture some of these efts if we can. Efts again, to remind you are baby newts, which have got external gills which have not yet turned into lungs and also the the start of their legs and I need to find one that I can reach within view of the camera and I want to try and find quite a big one so that I can show you one that's developed now you might not be able to see this but as I scan this pond I can probably see in clear view about 20 or 30 efts in the water down here um, but I want to try and get one that's in the margins so I can focus in on so I'm actually just looking down here I will get one for you bear with me but I need to find it first and I need to be able to stealthily creep up on it so that the camera entering the water doesn't scare it away I've got my waterproof camera case on at the moment um, there's one just moved in the uh, the torch light but that's not quite big enough i want one bigger than that um i'm going to find one i might just edit out the footage so that you don't get bored so i will find one and speak to you in a moment when i've got one in clear view of the camera now unfortunately my underwater camera microphone does not connect the moment the camera goes underneath the water's surface. So this is an narration which I've recorded after the event during the edit. But I would encourage you to stick around because you're about to see some fascinating footage 
of these baby newts or efts. You'll see them of various shapes and sizes. That's a quite a small one, but I will be showing you quite a large one. And as we venture down into the depths on the end of a selfie stick, we can see quite clearly the external gills of these efts. And we will also be able to see the legs which have started to develop. And what interests me and fascinates me more than anything about these little legs that these efts have is the tiny little toes. Um, the feeling that you get when you see a baby's little fingers. Um, you, you also get when you see these efts, tiny little toes, just minute and almost microscopic. Now these, which are happily swimming around just in the shallows and the margins of my wildlife pond, very soon those gills will become internal lungs uh, and at virtually at the same time the legs will be fully developed and those will crawl out of the pond into the margins and become true amphibians and hopefully in years to come these will venture back to my pond and breed again and repeat this cycle it's an amazing life cycle the newts have the adult female lays a single egg and she wraps it in a leaf and that egg then hatches and becomes a tiny tadpole these i would say are almost mature they've got that kind of olive green brown coloring with some speckles and look at those little limbs that they've got developed there's two here of approximately the same size wonderful creatures and you can see the sediment there no doubt they will be scurrying around and putting their noses into that sediment to, to find little microscopic organisms to eat. But these look very, very healthy to me. It must be testament to the water quality and the overall balance of my pond after only 12 months. It just fills me with happiness seeing these. I come out here every night and um, look at them and uh, I get a lot of joy out of my baby news possibly a bit sad. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. I'm now going to come back on camera and speak to you to say goodbye. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. I think we've got some reasonable footage there of the efts or baby newts. And um, what's interesting that I've observed actually is the fact that they are of different sizes and at different levels of maturity we've still got some really quite tiny ones which appear to have only just hatched and then we've got these larger ones which look as if they might be about to emerge from the water and i suppose that's an evolutionary approach isn't it we in order to protect the species they evolve and develop at different times um to make the most of different events in the calendar i suppose I've just seen in the corner of my eye a great crested newt. So let's go and just see one last chance to look at a fully grown great crested newt, which is underneath the weeds down here. So let's see if we can get the camera close to that. I don't know if I'm going to catch any footage of it because the camera will be under the water and I won't be able to see what it can see. Let's get in there. Otherwise, I shall say good night and I'll see you soon for some more. Baby Newt Adventures. Bye for now.